The opposition Congress is improving its share of seats in the state assembly, but the BJP is winning overall. In another state, in Michelle Pradesh, the BJP is set to take power with a landslide victory there, while the Congress party is doing far better than it's done in the past. Well, for more, Nea Punya can join us now live from New Delhi. Hi, Nea. The BJP has won overall, but some analysts are saying that uh, the victory actually highlights a loss of strength for Narendra Modi, especially in, in his home state of Gujarat. Is that the case? Absolutely, Andrea. If you look at the kind of numbers the BJP had projected for themselves, Gujarat, for example, has 185 seats. And before the elections, the BJP had said we would win 150. But today, as these uh, trends are coming in, it's becoming more and more clear the BJP is only going to take home about 100 seats, uh, which means they've uh, most likely won the election, but not with the majority that they wanted to in the first place. And the credit for that goes to the Congress party, whose vote share has increased uh, despite the party not having been in power for over 20 years now. And that really is the big shock. Most exit polls have predicted a massive win for the BJP. But as the numbers are telling you, that's not really the case. So with the Congress party, and I mean, it's now led by Rahul Gandhi after some 20 years or so of uh, his mother leading the party. It's still behind the BJP, but you're saying it has gained some momentum. Do Indians see that as a, as a comeback of sorts? Absolutely. I mean, uh like you said, Rahul Gandhi just took over as Congress president uh, less than 48 hours before these results were announced. And uh, some of the credit is being given to him because he was uh, campaigning uh, quite extensively in that state. He also raised issues like demonetization, the goods and services tax, both of which have been uh, major points of criticism for the prime minister. And he's also uh, consistently attacked the prime minister for the economic slowdown that India has seen over the last two years. So many are saying, yes, this is a promising sort of uh, uh, performance by the Congress, especially keeping in mind the 2019 elections are just two years away. And if the Congress can continue to build on this momentum, it very well could be a match between equals in the next general elections. So people are reading this election result as an indication of what to expect in 2019. Yes, uh, absolutely. That's uh, that's the real uh, reading. Many are calling this a curtain raiser because, uh, like you said, this is Prime Minister Modi's home state, a state he should have won quite easily, but that didn't happen. Instead, uh, his party has scraped through. They won another term, but uh, not on the terms that they wanted it to be. Uh, so. Um, Many are saying this is possibly indicative of the fact that Prime Minister Modi needs to change his poll strategy. He needs to make more uh, allowances for uh, factors such as the economic slowdown, for the agrarian crisis that the state of Gujarat, as well as many other states have seen. And for the Congress, like I said, it's all about building on this existing momentum, finding issues uh, over which the voters can relate to the party's pitch and uh, really using that uh, to keep attacking the Prime Minister. Uh, and uh, most experts are saying that 2019 really is going to play out along similar lines with the opposition consistently attacking Prime Minister Modi on economic issues, on uh, issues of demonetization and GST, along with uh, the agrarian crisis, while um, the Prime Minister will have to find a very, very uh, foolproof defense for those reform measures he's taken, which haven't really played out exactly like he wanted them to.